Hey guys, and welcome to the final part of the Knuckles Mania and Knuckles playthrough. And Knuckles and Knuckles and Knuckles. <laughs> and Knuckles. Now, what was the question you were asking in the last part again, Stephen? I don't remember, because uh, well, this is just right after Andrew's mind was still in the fucking gutter. <laughs> so, uh, hey, it's, it's went out of my head. It was, I was about the Super Rebels, actually, I now recall. Yeah. What you had to do is, when in Sonic 3, when you're halfway through the game, you're in Mushroom Hill Zone, the Chaos Emeralds are no longer useful at that point, but they become Super Emeralds. You need still need to find the giant rhines, but then you. But the difference is, you go into that area that we saw before, and you can choose any super emerald stage you want. But once you beat all seven, you get the super emeralds, which gives you hypersonic. Basically, God in Hedgehog form. He does a mid-air dash attack, which is a screen nuke. He has same attributes as hypersonic, well, supersonic. It drop runs even faster, and it can't drown. Yay! <laughs> Basically, what it should have been in the first place. <laughs> Jesus Christ, don't want to play on that. Anyway, welcome to Metallic Madness, or as Steven calls it, is screen not agree scrap brain not zone. scrap brain zone. And you have the bees in the background there as well. It's up the fuck bees. <laughs> <laughs> no, not the bees. <laughs> oh god, not the bees. I just love that. Have you seen that video, Sean? No, that had to be square from B movie. Someone took that uh I think I said this in the first run through as well, but what the fuck was that, Andrew? <laughs> uh, that, but, uh, that, was, that was poor momentum. You know the song, It Took the B Square from B Movie? Someone yeah. took that and instead of Hit the B Square, they, they edited it so now it goes, It Took the Fuck Bees. <laughs> 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 it's hilarious. <laughs> Type up. What the fuck was that? Andrew? Again, poor momentum. Are you even trying at this point? <laughs> or are you just giving up because you're almost done? Uh, it's just Murphy's Law. At least law. throughout all of Resident Evil Zero, even if I got my ass kicked a little bit, I was still really consistent. Yeah, Ex however, uh, seem to be giving up. Explain that puzzle where you had to let all the green lights then. Yeah. <laughs> Guess what? I didn't, still didn't die. <laughs> and yes, this boss from Sonic 1 reappears. <laughs> oh, yes. Everybody Only difference died. this time is that you have reins. Right. And it has a pinch mode. Yeah. Yep. And, it actually, and the collision detection actually works, unlike Sonic Genesis, where you can get crushed by one of those things going up. Ah, <laughs> uh, if we ever find, was it a Game Boy player? No, no, Who's doing no, it? no, fuck off, no, forget <laughs> it, for fucking get it, no, no. And did I say no? I'm going to say, because I don't give a shit if I did say no, I'm going to say no again, no. So you're saying no. Aye. <laughs> I think he said no. What works. do you think? It's every... Fourth pattern? No, it's when he's in his pinch mode. Oh, yeah. He's on his pinch mode just yet. It's when the alarm goes off and it starts flashing red. Get a load of this! <laughs> oh, I bet you didn't see that one coming! <laughs> Away, you fool, before I make mincemeat out of you! That's the most frightened Eggman's ever been. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's even more depressing and disturbing about that? It's that he says, I'm gonna blow up this entire fucking city with a missile and take everyone with me. <laughs> it's like, what? No, it's like, but then you question him. No, the Eggman's a sore loser. No, you question him, he's like, I'm going to destroy the city and or destroy he's the world. He's literally going to let himself go down with it. No, but then he's, then you're like, and where exactly are you going to build Eggman land? Yeah. Oh, crap. <laughs> yeah. Like, I made a terrible mistake. God, Adventure 1 Eggman's such a fucking moron. <laughs> Not to mention those animations. <laughs> what is it uh, when you're fighting uh, Chaos? Which one was it at the top of the sky deck? Uh, I believe so. I and he's throwing six. shit that allows you to actually damage Chaos. Eggman, you're a fucking moron. <laughs> no, his the line of delivery in the segment was like, Chaos! <laughs> That's right, fool. You made it all too easy for shit for you to use against Chaos, allowing you to beat it. It's like if Eggman just didn't do anything, uh, Chaos would kill Sonic. Alright. Well, at least we can confirm that this Knuckles is cool because it won, he, he learned from his mistakes in Sonic 3 and he's not getting tricked again. Yes, we're not playing as a continue icon. Which game was it where they I said. I was just like, what the fuck happened there? Was it Adventure 1 and, or 2 where they were like, oh, you got tricked by Eggman again? Yeah. Which one? Adventure 1. Adventure 1. one. Oh. Yeah, because. Oh. But yeah, this idea. that this was the original gimmick in Sonic CD, Sean. In Metallic Madness, you did there were moments where you do shrink and grow because of lasers, which makes it a little bit hard. And yes, in this oh, you, you could, still have the whack momentum on. Yeah, but you, jump. you could still go super even when you're a midget. <laughs> <laughs> I 
but unlike. <laughs> Fuck. What the hell was that? <laughs> you knew that was coming. No, I didn't realize until it was too late. Because that I thought, like, right no, after the checkpoint. All the pre right, that was right after the checkpoint because all my previous attempts that every time I go past that checkpoint <laughs> it's rising up so I thought it was going up I didn't realize it was coming down to it was too late. Wonderful job, <laughs> fan dabby fucking doozy. <laughs> I'm going back up this way because I know this is the fastest way. I have to build up speed again or just climb up. <laughs> there goes buckles. <laughs> Careful, Andrew. You, you, you might, you might uh, be too I'll sloggy. Be, oh, quiet! You have learned from my mistake, all right? <laughs> no. He has me. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. Because <laughs> I have seen. I the sense a part. fuck up approaching. Yes. <laughs> Believe me, it's gonna be glorious, and you'll face palm. <laughs> or just laugh at your arse on the floor. That too. <laughs> Yes, you get a boss as a midget. This is actually unique. When you're small, yeah. Aye. There's a trophy, like, all these figurines, you have to, there's a trophy where you have to get all these to summon at once. <laughs> yeah, all of them have to be on screen all at the same time without being blown up, which is chaotic as shit. Stay away from the Amy doll, that self-destructs. <laughs> no, no, fucking oh, creepy as hell. That's a reference to Sonic CD, because in Sonic CD, Amy would appear and then she would chunk case to try to hug you. <laughs> I think CD Amy was kind of cute in that way where she would just hug him. Otherwise, and, but in the later game, she literally turns into this crazy, psychotic stalker <laughs> who smacks Sonic on the head with a hammer. What was it, Sonic Riders originally? Yeah. You yeah. showed me many, many years ago. She chases after him with a hammer. Right. Yeah, <laughs> because he, because he, he had to attack him and knowing Amy was in his grasp. <laughs> so he that her har as well. Well, it was more like a wind attack. Blew her off. Right. Unlike Tails, he doesn't jump scare when there's a thunder when there's a thunderstruck. Right. Thunderstruck. <laughs> so this Eggman learning from uh, what was it Baby Bowser from Yoshi's Island? <laughs> Welcome to Titanic Monarch, the last era of the game. Yep, and it's just as long as it was in Sonic's playthrough. So turn that timer off if you don't want to <laughs> game time over here. No, I'll be fine. No, I'm not talking to you. <laughs> You're talking to the people in Reality Land? Yeah. <laughs> Such hostility, I wonder what's the cause of it. Yeah, if you, get the, if you can get the electric shield, you can take those cards off as shortcuts. Hi. Here's another shortcut I can, not only, I can take, but you can't, because you can't climb walls. I don't need to. Ah, oh, you have to do the long way. No, I don't need to, because I can just speed my way to the top other, through other means. I don't know, I went by, by that bit faster than you ever did. Climbing is overrated. <laughs> it's been piloted by an airman robot. Why gotta would you fast. get into that car? <laughs> gotta go fast. Gotta go even faster to get away from the use of Well, AI I would say, tails. because, to answer that question, Sean, because this is the last base and Eggman, at this point, is just trying to throw everything at you right. to stop them. Right. To stop you from getting to his end yeah. goal. Yeah. But, I prefer to go fast. Yeah. You gotta go oh, yes. fast. He's, you can see it's clearly powered by me. By an Eggman robot, I get Sonic in the hole. Still, just gonna go. Oh, I'll get in that. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go fast. That sounds like the way forward. Ooh, yeah. free ride. Yeah. So you do know the way. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the robot's saying. <laughs> <laughs> I know the way up on. I thought you were talking about knuckles, like the. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, see, if you had the electric shield, the electric currents will pull you up. Don't lose it two seconds after getting it. <laughs> I hate when that happens. You get a power up and then you lose it immediately. Do those take you down a few? Yes, they do. So you, so you actually lose progress there if you go down those that time. Right, let's continue on. Hopefully without fucking right, up. Right, hopefully. Just to time it just right. Take your time. Fuck! <laughs> <sighs> Fucking not back Try those again, spikes. this time, go with slowly! Less. <laughs> Try again this time with less sucking. For fuck's sake! It's every twice! <laughs> yeah. Nigel, you didn't listen. 
try again, but with less sucking. Well, that's someone did. Well, well, Puckles didn't learn. <laughs> yeah, no, but that's Puckles. <laughs> He's in better condition than you are right now, after being crushed twice in a row to the same set of spikes in the exact same <laughs> yes, fucking yes, spot. Yes, yes, I just uh, pulled an Elliot from Crash Free. <laughs> that was great where he spun the TNT yeah. seriously what was going through your mind oh, this would be a good idea <laughs> and then it what Puckles was pushing the vehicle there on the other side yeah he was secretly an engineer what's the Isaac Sorry, Clark he's fed, he's fed up with your shit oh, he's yeah. I, no, I know who he is he's Isaac Clark from Dead Space because he's an engineer come on Puckles let's go don't screw me over now. You went the wrong way, you fool. Aye, but I can. I'm waiting for this to go down. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Come you on! Seem to, you seem to have a somewhat fatal attraction to those spikes. <laughs> I love the spikes. <laughs> Alright, well, you, you know what you should do? Play Mega Man, jump on them. That'll end. That'll end well. What? Jump, jump, slide, slide, jump, jump. That's a dick move. Like you think you're gonna run into the spikes and Aye. then spring out of nowhere. Oh! <laughs> no, that face that Knuckles does whenever he's getting yeah. knocked back by something. Yeah, the choir is singing. <laughs> Those turtles, all they do is just blow fans. I was you. wondering what that rattling was there, but it's yeah, it's it's the turtle moving thing in place, not a Koopa Trooper. <laughs> Koopa Troopers are funny. Koopa Troopers are a lot funnier in the more mo in okay. the more recent games actually because of what is it? I think was it? I don't know if it started with 3D Land, but if you, uh, I know it was in 3D World, but if you, Jesus Christ, but if you, <laughs> but if you actually took the shell off of them, they would run around after you trying to get the shell back I think all I, angry. I think they would. I think they put that in 3D Land, but the concept was from Mario World, yeah, I believe. Right. This guy is really hard without super form, especially with Knuckles' yeah, skin you're, jump. Yeah, you're fucked here. <laughs> this is gonna take forever. As long as I have one ring. Fuck up then! Fucking hell. Don't lose it. <laughs> Just crap onto that ring like a. My life depends on that don't, ring. Don't lose it here, it'll be a massive waste. <laughs> but, but, yep. Yeah. You, Steven already had trouble with this guy, even with Super Fun. Now, imagine that with Knuckles. Look, I'm pressing the jump button, I can't hit him! <laughs> I, I was... Hey, Knuckles, guess what? I could still reach him when I was Super! You can't! You're are you, fucked! Are, are you telling me Sonic is watching me through that eye there? Yeah, yeah, I'm eating popcorn, and I'm loving every fucking second of it. <laughs> Hell, I've got Tails being tortured somewhere on Titanic Monarch as well, so I'm switching the camera back and forth to watch him be tortured. But all seriousness, no, why the hell do they not make Knuckles' jump a little bit higher? Cause that would be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, it's funny to watch you struggle like this. Trust me, Steven, <laughs> if you were playing this, you'd be raging yeah, too. Yeah, I've done this part and, and I know exactly. I know what the big problem is. And plus the ca right. the change in the gravity, he's, he he's basically moving the elevator up and down at will. But depending if he goes up and down is random. Yeah, have you ever <laughs> like noticed how gravity works when you're actually in an elevator and it's going up? It works right. a little bit differently. Like you're going down and I'm flying way higher now. <laughs> no, my ring! <laughs> that reminds me of a funny joke in Hooker and Roger Rabbit when Valiant goes into the elevator. <laughs> going up, sir. <laughs> <laughs> no. And then he smashes into the ceiling because it goes up really quickly. And then no. when he gets out, you're What a way, Eggman! You you inspired this boss. You took the, the inspiration for this boss, Eggman, was a roller coaster in Disneyland horror attraction. <laughs> oh yeah. No cool bonus for you because you suck. <laughs> Only 100 points for the Meanwhile, rank. somewhere in the Devil May Cry universe, Dante is like watching this and just saying, "Get out of here!" <laughs> he, you did not impress Dante. Well, I only put him up. Put him up. <laughs> Dante actually, uh, you say put him up, but Dante, uh, the gauntlets Dante gets in Devil May Cry Five, Balrog, he, he fights like a boxer with it when it's in the punch mode. You can switch yeah. between punch and kick for it. It looks awesome. Yep. Right, here we are, our last act in the game where 
Just like Stevens, it's a four way. You motherfucker. <laughs> he took him out in one fell swoop. So it's just done say that giant robot we saw earlier. Yeah, we're yeah. still. I were so still. So why is there a stained glass it? window of Eggman there? It's this is supposed to be the last um, place. I think it's just an attraction, but that's not the only thing we get. The hardball we'll heavies. Electric and, shield again. Yeah. yeah, I'm going for the electric shield. You have to go to this path where you got this like central hop going on the stage, and there's four different pathways. You have right. to go on all yeah. four pathways. On your first playthrough, if you don't know where you're going, you will time out here. I'm going this way first because if you go through here, you, when you come back, you get an electric shield, which will help you for the second half. Now those 3D gra those 3D Saturn effects, <laughs> it's like a Saturn 3D effects surrounding Andrew there. If you don't get away from them in time, they will damage you. Yeah, that's why you need to look for the guy who sent to basically the commander and yeah. take him out. Like for example, like heroes. For example, when you get those gold robots, if you defeat the gold one, they all go up. Aye. Right. <laughs> <But if you'd, laughs> they all just give up on life. Yeah. You never, you never did that, Steven. If you jumped off that robot yeah. cart, you get an extra life. Yeah, I think I missed that extra life. Oh, I missed the one uh, where you go on in the underground path later, and mm -hmm. there, there's crusher parts. There was an extra life that I only needed to jump to reach, but I didn't get it in time. Yeah, hold on to, to try and hold on to your rings until at least the last. Wait, area. sorry, I heard that correctly, right? Hold on to soup. What? No, hold on to your rings. <laughs> Get I'm, your I'm, hearing I'm... check. <laughs> I'm at soup. What <laughs> 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 was that? A one cookie ass like video that someone made. <laughs> I'm at soup. What do you mean? You're at soup. <laughs> Why are you? It's just Lelouch. It's, soup? it's just like the artwork of Lelouch and Suzaku, and some guy dubs over it. Yeah. It's hilarious. Okay. Yeah, just traditional Sonic logic. The yellow springs don't send you as far as the red ones. Yeah, the red mm. ones. You don't want to take a, a lot of the yellow springs that are in uh, not scrap brain zone, though, because yeah. they'll send you into spikes. That's Andrew showed us earlier. <laughs> yes, yes, I know. He's rough, fucking reckless. Right, right, right. Rub it in, rub it in. Yeah, well, <laughs> I won't. How many, how many times did you get crushed? Three. At least three. Two or two of the same set of spikes. <laughs> you know this is staying on YouTube forever, right? Yeah. I know, I know. It's I mean, I thought I, I thought I had a pretty big fail when I, for, <laughs> when I forgot to reload the mic and for the inventory. <laughs> that, what happened in Act 1, is pretty much my equivalent to Ryan's Toad Man and Johnny's Storm Eagle. Yeah. Star Amigo is just Johnny taking a lot of damage on an easy boss, that's all. It just made me think of that bit in uh, Mario Maker with a spiny. It was a fucking hormones! <laughs> <laughs> no, my favourite was when. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ, you almost got crushed again! <laughs> I'm but, a daredevil. <laughs> what, Elliot? The first time Elliot jumps on the spiny. Why did you do that? It's like the most obvious <laughs> fucking spiny, and you jump right on top <laughs> of the goddamn thing! Fuck <laughs> off! <laughs> then, Matt. What, what, Matt, what the fuck? It was an eliciting fucking hormones? You wanna fuck that spiny? And Matt's just like, ah, I can't. <laughs> and then Johnny makes it very easy. No, the only time he is actually a, a song Aside goal, from I, that rage, yeah, I know exactly yeah, what he's Yeah, he's angry. I've, well, I've seen pure angry as Castlevania 3. Because I can't control my jumps and then fucking air, you stupid fuck. Because <laughs> Johnny killed the final boss twice in a row and died because he jumped and fell in a pit when it disappeared. Oh god! And the second time, Matt's like, "Why didn't you jump?" And then Johnny flies into that full-blown like rant at Matt. Yeah. Right. Last area. Meanwhile, back on the world of Cal <laughs> yeah. Gaming, yeah. and not the Super Gaming Brothers. <laughs> there goes Pickles again. <laughs> yeah, he. I didn't get crushed by what this, but he did. What happened there? You lost all your momentum as you were going down the, the second one. Uh, since I looped here, it doesn't count. Redo. <laughs> Take 300. Got from bed way here. Remix. Randomly. <laughs> Acorn had... What the fuck were they thinking? That yes. song was awful. Alright, that's who it was going to put. Bless, God bless whoever, if we do no. sex, who's going to put up with no. that. No! <laughs> or, I could edit it out. Replace it with a good song. Right, all four of us done. Into, yeah. Yeah. Because I've got two over 200 rates at this point. Alright. 
This boss is gonna be piss easy. Oh, the, like the the feeling you get when when you know when you come when, when you do this without super and then you yeah, have a hard time, an and then you're like, I brought this up in the, so the first one. Everyone with Phantom Ruby and a giant backpack. That's not all he does. He sends <laughs> missiles on his backpack, but when after about two or three hits. He uses the Phantom Ruby to teleport you to other locations yeah. where hardball heavies are there, but you can't damage them. But all you can do is evade them until you come back. More illusion shit. You said about the giant pack backpack. You know what that reminds me of? Afro Samurai. You know that anime with Samuel yeah. Jackson when the, that guy with the RPG just shows up out of nowhere. Wait, that motherfucking RPG? <laughs> <laughs> you got a motherfucking RPG? <laughs> An RPG in a little fucking backpack? Yeah, Samuel Jackson's in that anime, mm -hmm. Afro Samurai. It's awesome, by the way. You should go check it out. Mm -hmm. There was an anime series and a movie. Resurrection was a movie. There's a little bit of a graphical glitch here, like the after shadows in the background when I'm in the yeah. foreground. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if that's if that's the game itself or if it's the footage. Oh, we'll see a funny graphical glitch when I start Code Veronica. Oh, like the very first staircase you get to, I'll show that. Off. Now for this, folks, this you only get this when you have and Knuckles mode activated and you got all the emeralds. So if you played here with just Knuckles on his own, he just escapes the Death Egg. Alright. So now we can do the final boss fight with Knuckles. <laughs> is, it, is it the same music here? Yes it is. Yay! <laughs> I love this music. And yes, Sean, the timer is meant to be fucking up like that yeah. because you're basically... <laughs> can you imagine if... Yeah, it, so I remember from your... Uh, can you imagine if it went to run. 10 minutes randomly and then you just died? <laughs> like on the very left it says 10 or 11 or 12 or whatever and then what? you just die. <laughs> Let awesome music commence. I have to say, for this I got a few lucky shots here and there. Boss fight themes are always amazing. Aye. Well, Even depend more so with Resident Evil 2. Like the, if you have the original OST enabled, G Freeze boss fight theme. Oh. <laughs> now, for the reference on Eggman's contraption, if it's, it's a reference to the Sonic 3 final boss, which was the big arms, but except this one, uh. it, the arms are extendable and it has bandages. Uh. <laughs> what, do you get hurt? <laughs> <laughs> no, they no. But this one, no. A shot they, at Sonic they, boom. Aye. Well, this one it just pushes you. But in, push her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I made that joke in the first place. Right? Really? He's trying to steal Cole Phelps' job. <laughs> <laughs> Cole Phelps, push her. Wait, well, we're not getting to that game just yet. So as you know, that doesn't go like twenty can million not, more. Yeah, I cannot <laughs> wait to get to hell. But as I mentioned before, in, C in Steven's boss boss fight, with the Heavy King, he's the most dangerous because, again, these two are fighting over the Phantom Ruby. And the Heavy King here, his projectiles, when they flash green, they're the ones you don't want to get hit by. Yeah. If they're not flashing green, they just push you back. But just like all other supersonic bosses, if you run out of rings, li life lost. You're dead! And I got lucky right there. <laughs> I, I didn't even see it because the mic was in the middle. What happened? You got multiple. You'll see in the playback. Because the mic was blocking my the view of the middle screen. You'll and, see in the playback. Did it like come up and you hit it instantly? I instantly like three or five right. hits at yeah. once. Right. This, this is bullshit right here. <laughs> <laughs> Try dealing with that in Castlevania. We knock back. Where it's so much worse. And this is actually where you can initiate flight mode in super in super right. form. To do that, you just jump on the ground, press the jump button twice, and that's it. That's it. You're in the clear. Yeah, heavy. The most the obvious threats out. And Bye, that's for it. Sure. <laughs> and that's it for Knuckles Mania. Yay! So I ended it with 35, 39 lives and twice the amount that you got. And how many times did you die? With the consequence of about six deaths. <laughs> Five or six. But you think we're going to forces again? Nah, it done. was all a book. No, we're, 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 we're done. We're done! <laughs> so no like, more! Can forces! Can you believe what this guy's making? Can you believe this bullshit? <laughs> forces is done. Look at Sonic and Tails in the back there. <laughs> yeah, he was just like, I can't believe what this guy is. <laughs> and, the, and the book there, it says Sonic Mania and Knuckles. Yeah. And, that and Knuckles and Knuckles and Knuckles. Yeah. And that was Sonic, well, Sonic Mania overall, but Knuckles Mania and Knuckles 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 and Knuck
back this up. Especially if you if your first experience was forces. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's sad is that there is a double pack being sold now that has both forces and mania. Yeah. <laughs> so so you get one really good what game and one really <laughs> ugh, game. Uh. Jun Sanoa, hasn't he? Uh... Yeah, he was. He was the. He's the main guy who is in Sony Music, but he's also the guitarist for Crush Forty. Yeah, hasn't mm -hmm. he been in the fr working on the franchise for a long time? Yeah, but then it, I think after a few gaps, and all, he's finally back with Team Sonic Racing. Yeah. yeah. Which I'll be interested doing on that game, <laughs> even though it's only got a month to live. Right. <laughs> Crash Team Racing comes out a month after it. Right. Like, damn, they're sending yeah. it to the slaughter. Yeah. <laughs> so. Real, I love this game. Despite it feel, despite nostalgia getting in the way the and all that. Zones. Yeah, but that's why I'm saying if I would like to see a sequel, I would like to see more original zones because right. if there's one thing that Sega will listen to, it's the um, reviews yes, on yes. Yeah. Mag magazines, websites. They'll all and they all say one thing, Colin. The original zones were some of the best in the game, and we wish there were more of them. Did right. forces come out after us? Yes. So they yeah. have no fucking excuse. <laughs> <laughs> they reuse the same zones again. And for, and, for, and Alex the kid sold for son. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, they and then an excuse to force Shadow Sonic into forces. And then yeah. have Shadow do absolutely goddamn nothing after he joins the team. No, if we're gonna do encore mode, I don't no, think so. I don't no. think, encore mode is way too fucking hard. Well, then we've already done two runs of Sonic. Maybe yeah. in. Two go, years. Go watch the Brain Scratch yeah. play for a day dead encore mode. <laughs> yeah, we're Who knows? It? Might come up we might come back in two years to do encore mode. Why two years specifically? Is there a future event you know about that I don't? <laughs> well, we have to well, our channel we have to come up with as much variation as possible. Yep. As for that, let's tease what we have next. Steven? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well what <laughs> <laughs> well, when it comes to uh, Steven, you're up. Uh. When it comes to my when it comes to my next big game, Don't Me Cry Free Special Edition. For me, we're gonna go back to 1997 with a certain Orange Bandicoot. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so with that, I'm Andrew. I'm Steven. And I'm Sean. We're Cal Gaming. Thank you so much for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic afternoon, morning, or night. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And, and give we'll Tails some more abuse. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you guys in the next Let's Play.